So hello, my name is Jennifer Daly. I am uh, an iOS accessibility expert and mobile software engineer at DQ Systems. I have been doing iOS development uh, for the past couple of years, since 2015, and I wanted to share some accessibility uh, tips with you today. Let's get started. Uh, today, I wanted to cover uh, color contrast and how to make your app more accessible with colors. What, what is color contrast? What does it entail? Basically, color contrast just means making sure that the text, any, any visible text on your app, can be seen clearly by uh, any user, people, even people with low vision or with uh, color blindness, just making sure that the background colors do not interfere with the text that is uh, behind it. I have a demo here with some different uh, color contrasts. There's certain guidelines called WCAG, which is the Web Content Accessibility Guideline. Uh, they're set by uh, W3C, which is the World Wide Web Consortium. One of their guidelines to make things more accessible is to have a 4.5 to 1 color contrast ratio uh, with text and its background. I'm sure we've all run across apps and websites where you can't read the text because the background color is bright blue and the color, you know, and the text is bright red or something where it's just really hard to read. And so how do you decide at what point do we have a good enough contrast between the text and its color to make things more accessible or to make things readable by everybody, including those with low vision or with colorblindness? The uh, WCAG, which is the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines set by the W3C or the World Wide Web Consortium, has set these guidelines that say that you need a 4.5 to 1 color contrast ratio between the text and its color, and large text to have a 3.0 to 1 uh, contrast between its text and its background. Large text is 14 point bold or 18 point uh, regular. So let's get uh, started with this demo. We have, so I have a demo here that shows some color contrast issues and uh, some certain ways that you can fix them. So the first example here, we have a uh, very dark gray on black, which is probably very difficult to read. Um, we have a default iOS button, which as it turns out is not accessible per WCAG uh, guidelines. Um, and a lighter gray that actually is accessible as it has gray, it's a lighter gray on this black background. So certain ways that you can test this algorithm that you hopefully never have to deal with is you can look for the lightest lightest pixel in the text and the darkest pixel in the background and we can see that it's a color contrast ratio of 2.7 to 1 which is why it's so difficult to read i can show you that the default color uh, of an ios button is also not accessible we have it's pretty consistent we'll go with that color and the background is just white, and we can see that it's 3.9 to 1, which passes large text, as I mentioned earlier, but not the regular size text. And we can see that this lighter gray that I chose for the fixed example, 999 is lighter, and we have a black background, is 7.4 to 1 color contrast ratio. So uh, how you can fix that is uh, if you don't have any certain design regulations, it's quite simple to just change the color to be, we can change it to be light gray, we can change it to be white, let's change it to white. Um, and then you can just restart the app and see your changes. But another way that you can do this, if for whatever reason you have design constraints and you can't change the color automatically, is you can actually use a system that iOS has specifically implemented called uh, darker colors. In order to take advantage of this, we have to do some code, attach, just do some IB outlets for the, for the controls that do not meet the criteria that you're expecting. Create a notification center observer and listen for the notification UI accessibility darker colors, darker system colors status did change. It's a very long name, but hopefully Xcode will auto complete that for you. Um, and then you can write a function where uh, if UI accessibility, darker system colors are enabled, um, just change the color. And I can show that for you right now. In order to test, all you have to do is, 
Well, here I can show you the first. There's the original. We can go to home, go to accessibility in your settings under general. We click on increase contrast, click on darken colors, um, and then you can go right back to your app. And there you go. You can see that the button, which was originally blue, is now black as we coded in here. And the dark or the gray that was down here is now white, which matches the uh, white text above that we changed. Um, and that's all that there is to it. It's not too hard, not too bad. This may be a small change in, uh, you know, changing colors, just maybe a small change, but it, it is a great help for many people. Many, you know, as people age, as I mean, about eight to 10% of the population has some sort of color blindness. Um, it's the more, the more you can do to help, the better. Uh, if you want to learn more about iOS accessibility, you can visit um, our website, uh, dq.com, D-E-Q-U-E. And if we have a free trial of uh, an iOS framework um, that'll help you with accessibility, and if you want to learn more about that, uh, you can visit the Attest webpage on that same site. Thank you for your time.